What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. You teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. Drax dug all these? The epitaphs are all inscribed Hovat and Camaria. You can read that junk? All elocution is native to my tongue of truth. I am Groot. I am Groot. You, you can speak, Groot? That may be the weirdest thing about you so far. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greenie can never stop digging until he accepts what's been. I'm not the only one that hears that, right? Oh, no. That? <laughs> we got a runner! After him, Star Guy! I don't know this part! Traps! Please be something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as ready for this as I am! What's with that helmet? Not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? Remember there being two of him. Twice the ugly. Guys, huddle up! Every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Let's make one thing clear. Guardians do not dig their own graves. What? Why are you talking about graves? Or digging. Ugh, you're not hearing me. Those losers are the ones who will be digging graves. Because we're about to bury them. Who's with me? No so idea. much for leadership. Useless. <laughs> You need to cool off! Let's see those branches! Hey Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand! At this rate, we're gonna be outnumbered! It's like you can't be killed! As far as Drax is concerned, he probably can't! Been too long since I've pulled something up!
ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. We are trespassers on tainted land. Guess that means we're in the right place. Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up! Look! I bet I could beat you to the center. Are you so keen to usurp your father, little one? <laughs> Not so fast, little one. Drax! Wait up! Hey, that's cheating! I get the impression something doesn't want us to reach Drax. <laughs> Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. We can't be too far. How do you know? Because we've been moving towards the center. It can only go on for so long. On that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see Your me? friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. <laughs> it is you who forced me to follow this fantasy of falsehood. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. Playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. The flock are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! Whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. Is that Drax's wife? 
I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, man. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. see any new promise at least we are an empty eternal echo naked nothingness not helping hobo wizard all right everyone just split up and look for a way out or forward or whatever i lose a bet if i die in a dark pit it was alone in a dark pit drax come on buddy i know you can hear me this ain't flarkin funny i know you're in a dark there look i can't believe that worked let's go Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of a speech plan, Peter. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate 
I've ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Peter Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Hey, 
Hey, Goldie Braun! Wanna get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest, you underestimate. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark... Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose, till uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. Hang on. You can't name a craving. I named nothing. Clawed through my consciousness. Its deafening demand sated soul and by suffering. Can you listen to this thing? Its call is too great to ignore. I too heard this voice. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Sounds like you were careless. Deluded by desperation. My mind was melding with Magus. Did it work at least? In a savage sense. Split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos. So, no. For me, there was only darkness. I awoke half whole. Certain the stone shattered. How Magus merged with another I know not. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corral. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one. Find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. 
Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What's what are you going? Oh, oh Flark. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. You need to go now. Does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Thank. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Let's go.